Hello ladies! Welcome back to my channel, Happy Lady One on One. My name is Veronica. In today's episode, we will talk about comfortable clothes and shoes. Alright, let's get to it. As I get older over the years, I notice that it's harder to find clothes that fit me good or look good. So a lot of times when I get dressed, I go through a lot of clothes before I find that perfect outfit. Being a busy mom, working and or traveling, you always have to find more practical clothes to wear. No matter whether you're running around, have a busy schedule, you're always looking for clothes that will be looking not only beautiful, but also practical. The other thing to consider is the season. Whether you're going to be hot in those clothes, or you need something that you can bundle up and be warm. But these clothes and shoes can be also used for the airplanes, in the car, going to the beach. It has many, many applications. This video is not sponsored. So all the, all the products below are something that I bought myself. I wore them, I tried them out, and they work great for me. And let me know if you like them as well. this fabric. It's so stretchable. I like that. It's kind of sweat proof. So you won't see any sweat on your butt when you sit on it. For long hours on the plane or in the car or when it's hot, it has a little pocket in here. See, you can put your stuff in there. There are two pockets in the front. Look at that. You can put your phone. It has two pockets. And Velcro. Look how big they are. And they're very stretchable over here, so you don't have to worry about the zippers, the buttons, the, something that type here, type there, when you're sitting down for long hours. So it's so super light. It comes in different colors, and it, you can stretch it. So the fabric is super stretchable. Sure. You see? It stretches? Oh, yes. Woo! Super light sandals. They're very, very comfortable. I already wore them, and they're amazing on your foot. You can go for long hours on the tour if you're traveling or if it's just summertime, it's hot, you can put them on and the soles are so, so comfy. I bought it online and I didn't even realize how comfy they were until they came in. I mean, look at them. Look at them. Can you see? That's in place of the flip-flops. When I saw these online, I was a little bit skeptical of what they are, so I'm going to show you what these are. These are made by Crocs. The sole is comfy. The material it's made out of is the Crocs type of material. The reason I was looking for shoes like this was in the summertime when it gets really sticky and hot, you put sneakers on for working out or to go into the beach or just walking around during the day your shoes get stinky. Your, your feet get sticky and sweaty when it's hot. When I was looking for good shoes, I was looking for something that had a lot of air, like it has holes in there, and it's comfortable to walk in so that you can go in this for long hours, even if you just went for, for a walk in the park, if you went to the beach. They can get wet because this fabric is made to be wet, you know, like Crocs are, that's so awesome because when you put them on, you can literally put them on without having any socks on. And it has, inside it has very, like this bumpy bottom that kind of massages your sole of your foot. And it's very, very comfortable. So I'm gonna put them on. I 
I've been looking for the light jacket that is also warm for a while now. And this is the jacket I found. It's made by Columbia. This jacket is fairly light compared to some other bulky jackets that I have. And it's great for the weather that is kind of cold, but not that cold yet. It's great like this. It has these hands covers right here, just like in the workout jackets. It also has a hood like this. Look how beautiful the hood is. And I also like the soft fabric that is inside of the hood. It's also very warm. It zips up so you can literally hide from the wind, from the cold weather, from the snow, for the trips or traveling just because it's lighter than your usual ski jacket and it's long enough to cover your legs it has a hidden pocket where you can put your phone this material is designed to keep you warm and it has some lining inside so it's not completely thin it doesn't get wet so it's weatherproof pretty much it's kind of middle of the road jacket with pockets but it also has all the essentials In one of my travel videos that talks about what to know before you go to a foreign country, I talked about staffing your pockets with things that do not fit in your carry-on bag. Or if you have to take some things out of your wheeled carry-on bag and put it in your pockets. So I found out this awesome vest. Please don't laugh <laughs> because it is stuffed with things that would fit in the ladies' purse. A lot of you probably have those small compact purses that <laughs> once you pour it out, it has so many items in it that it's kind of hard to believe that everything fit in your little purse. So that's me too. I also have a lot of items everywhere um, in my purse, in my pockets, especially when you travel. If you're going places, if you're traveling by car, you always have these little knickknacks that you need to pack with you. And with the with the new regulations, with the weight and size of your carry-on bag, you cannot put so much heavy stuff in the carry-on bag. That the other solution, other than just putting it in the bag under the seat, would be to have this on you or have clothes that have pockets that can fit all of your little carry-ons. So this is what I found online. It is a little bit pricey, but it, it can fit a lot of goodies, a lot of things. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I have in my pockets. And again, this vest is pretty light. It doesn't have any lining, uh, except for like a very light lining. So I can travel in the hot destinations, but it has a lot of pockets. And that's what, that's what I like, I like pockets. I mean, this is how this vest looks when I have everything packed on me. And that's instead of having a purse on my shoulder that you can stuff things in and have everything on you instead of in your purse or the, your carry-on bag. It kind of looks a little bit bulky, but who cares? As long as you can fit all of your essentials in it and have also a carry-on bag uh, on your shoulder as well, that is always a plus. So let me show you. So first, I have sunglasses so they don't get crushed. Nobody is going to ask you questions of what you're wearing on you. I mean, when you're going through security, airport security, you will take this off and put it in one of those uh, plastic containers. But as you're going through the gate, nobody's going to stop you and say, well, you have to take this off or weigh it. So this is another alternative of having extra things stuffed in your pockets rather than in your carry-on. I have a lot of things in my pockets. What is this? Reading glasses. I have my keys in here. And I can take this off toilet seat covers because in some airports or in the plane they do not have toilet seat covers most of the times. I have my earphones here that are noise canceling earphones. I have a compact little mirror. Look how cute it is. It has little lights, magnifying side and the other one is a regular mirror. It has lights on and it's automatic as soon as you close it and open it it turns on and off. And it has a little battery in the back, so this is a really compact and awesome little mirror that you can take with you in your little vest. So let me show you <laughs> all of this stuff I have inside. All of these pockets here. You always need a pen in the airport. So I have a pen in here. 
the first zippered pocket here on the left side. And this is a ladies vest too. So I usually order an extra large size or a size bigger than my, my, the size that I usually wear to make sure that I can fit everything in the pockets. So my phone in here. It has a little pocket here for a card or if you have uh, maybe little pills, maybe some medicine, I, you can put it in here. So there's a cool little pocket in here for, for the passport. I have my passport in here. And you can put paperwork for your travel in here as well. And it also has this detachable pocket. Or in this pocket here. You can actually take it out and put it in your purse later if you need to um, put something in your backpack like this. So this has uh, a Velcro in there and it attaches. I also have my charger for my phone and this thing lasts the whole day. So this is great. I charge it up and it usually helps me to recharge my phone twice. So this battery, little uh, attachable battery to my phone. So I'm going to leave a link for, for these batteries at the bottom and even in the description below, but they sell these battery packs for both the Apple phones or the Androids. So you just need to pick which one, which phone you have. And this one is for the Android phones. So this battery, again, can recharge my phone twice. So if I take pictures, take videos on my trip, and it, it, it runs low, this is a great solution because once I charge this battery, it's, it's so compact and easy to fit in. And I just plug in my phone, and I can continue using my phone without having any downtime. So here's my battery, my phone. All right, a sleeping mask. And I buy the masks for, for the plane that has these little kind of things for your eyes. So if you have makeup on, it's not flat. And because of this design, you don't see any light from any direction. So if you want to sleep, you can put it on. It's very comfortable. Mask. I have this handy little uh, neck pillow. For this new stylish compact neck pillow, I'm going to leave a link below of how I'm using it and also where to buy it. It's awesome because there's a pillow inside here and automatic pump that inflates the pillow without carrying those bulky pillows that go around your neck. I hate those. There's a neck pillow, masks. All right, my Clorox wipes. Guess what this is? This is a spoon, a fork, and I found this online and I was very impressed. Check this out. If you're on an international flight, most of the time they feed you and they give you a sandwich, sometimes butter. And if you want to have an extra set of utensils with you, this is considered a little spoon. And this case is the size of the credit card and it can fit both utensils, a fork and a spoon. This spoon can be also used as a little knife for, for cutting the butter or spreading the butter on your bread, on your sandwich. So this thing goes like this. And the other piece of it is the fork. This is so cool. You see, it's also a fork and it can literally slide in and you're done. You have a fork, a spoon, and the, and the, and the butter spreader right in here. It looks like a credit card. Very convenient, very handy. Uh, I will leave a link to this product in my description. So let's look at the next side and all the pockets in here. All right, toilet paper, toilet tissue. Some bathrooms overseas do not have toilet tissue. So I always bring this little handy toilet tissue with me. And it's not only compact, you can take it out of this thing. You can roll it and put it in your pocket if you don't like the plastic container. But the plastic container kind of keeps it in one place, keeps it dry, and you can even roll. You see how you can roll the toilet paper out of it? That's a great way. Toilet paper. Kleenex tissues. I found this Kleenex tissues online and instead of those bulky square things, these have tissues on both sides and it folds like a little, little flat bag. I really like that because then it's not a bulky tissue in your pocket. This is very convenient. I really like it. You're on the plane. It's hot. The AC is not working or the, the, the air is not coming through and you can sit there for 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe an hour. You wish you had something to fan yourself with. And some people take um, some of those brochures or the magazines and they fan themselves. People bring those new neck things that actually is a fan for your neck for the flights to tropical destinations and when it's hot, especially if you have longer hair like myself, it can get really sweaty under your hair. So this fan 
it's super light and it is not noisy at all. I'm gonna make it full blast right now and see if you can hear it. It's very quiet, especially on the plane. When it's noisy already, you cannot hear this fan. But it, as you see with the long hair or any hair, if you get sweaty on your neck, if it's hot on the plane, this is an awesome way to cool yourself down. And it is USB chargeable, so you can take it off, charge it with the USB plug. And this is a wonderful fan. If for the hot destinations, for the vacations to the tropics, this is definitely an awesome fan and very popular nowadays on Amazon. So let's go back to my handy fan. If you don't like the fan or it's too bulky to take with you the other fan I was just showing you, there's another fan. And this is the, hand, the handy little fan. So it goes in this little pouch. It's very compact and it opens up. You see? So all you do is just fan yourself, you get hot and you get all sweaty. <laughs> it's so perfect because it happens to me every single time you go. Even if you go to the cold destination, it's always hot on the plane and it, they don't give you air until much later. So you just sit there and sweat until, and, and wait, it's just so overwhelming. So this fan can be a solution for you. And it, to fold it, it's super easy too. All you need to do is just twist it. You twist it like this, it folds into this little thing, put it back in the pouch, and that's it, that's your fan. And you can pretty much put it in your purse and forget about it until you need it. A hairbrush. One really cool thing in this vest is it has for the sunglasses that can fit in that little pocket. It also comes with this string. You can literally clean up your sunglasses without uh, carrying that case. So these are my sunglasses and it's attached to the string that literally stays in your pocket. And you see it stretches as well. Really cool. So I bring my medicine just in case some Advil's, some hair bands for the plane to put my hair up if it gets hot, moisturizing hand lotion by Aquaphor because it's, it's very thick and I like it when it's when your hands get dry you want to just put a little after you wash your hands in the, in the bathroom you want to put some moisturizer on this is great. I also bring SPF in case I'm going to hot destinations if you go to some islands, the planes land right in the middle of the airport, so you don't really have a walking bridge, so you have to get outside, walk under the sun, get on the bus, or sometimes walk towards the, the airport building. So I bring the, um, the sunblock just in case for, the, for those occasions, to put it on my face or my hands if it's really hot out. And there is a really cool tool here for your nails. It has little scissors, and I'm gonna leave a link for you to check it out. It's really handy. It has a magnifying glass for your nails, it even has a little screwdriver. So a lot of times um, you run into things where you need a little screwdriver for something, even for your reading glasses or your sunglasses. Some little uh, bolt came off and this, this is really, really handy because you can literally use a little screwdriver out of the set. One thing that I love is these um, compressed towels. So once you're in the bathroom and there's, let's say, no paper towel or nothing to dry your hands or your face with, what you can do is take this little tablet, this is a towel, put it under the water, and it expands, I also have a video about it, and I'm gonna put a link to my video below. And you can dry your hands with it, dry or wash your face with it, it's awesome. A pack of gum, chopstick. Here's another little thing that I found that is absolutely awesome, and I use it all the time. It's not only compact and small like this and can fit in any pocket or any purse for you. This is a sanitizing soap. So if you don't have a sanitizer on you, you're in some bathroom that doesn't have soap, liquid soap, for example. This can be used to sanitize your hands and wash your hands. This little box here has little sheets of soap that is dry. So all you need to do is take a piece out before you wash your hands, put it on your hands under water, and wash it. This is soap. And look how small and compact this little box is for that. I have a video about washing hands with this soap and I'm going to leave a link to my video below. And a few more things. <laughs> All right, here is my toothbrush. If you're on the long haul flights and that is over five hours, maybe it's a 10 hour flight, these things are so critical because you can be uh, on the red eye flight overnight. So you, you sit on the flight at night, you fly into a foreign country and in the morning, you're in a, in a different country 10 hours later, you want to refresh yourself. So this is my toothbrush. And so I used a silicone pouch to put all of my essentials to brush teeth in the airport bathroom once I get off the plane. So in this pouch, 
I have a towel because a lot of times in those countries you don't have in those other airports you don't have any paper towel or you only have the air machine that dries your hands so this is absolutely awesome because then it's super absorbent and dry your hands with it you can wash your face with it too so I have my toothbrush that is electric compact electric toothbrush I have my toothpaste in here the travel toothpaste and I have this handy dandy um, toothpicks or flossing and I love how compact and small they are because they fit into my little pouch here so this all fits together and this is my toothbrushing routine once I get off the plane or if I want to refresh myself after a long flight I also have a hidden pocket in the back of this vest that has my Kindle so in the back there's a zipper and this pocket is kind of hidden so um, Nobody knows about it except for me. <laughs> I have two things in here. One is my Kindle, because when you're on the international flights, you do have entertainment, movies, but sometimes you just want to read a book. And this Kindle has lit up screen and you can read in the dark, you can read during the day. If you like reading, this is an awesome way or an alternative to all of those thick books or magazines that you like to bring with you or to buy in the airport if you, if you get bored. This is awesome, I love the Kindle. And guess what this is? <laughs> I saved the best for last. This is my bag, this is my extra bag if you wanted to put your jacket in it or even this vest. I take this little baggie with me everywhere I go because a lot of times you buy souvenirs, you buy something else or it gets hot, you're gonna take your sweater or your jacket off and you have no place to put it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next episode that I will release next week.